One of the new features that we have within version 5 of Trace 3D Plus is the option to keep your roof configuration upon merging. So what this will allow us to do is have a, like a vaulted ceiling within um, some spaces. So I'll go over the basics of how you would apply this and then a practical application using our Load Design 101 training file. Um, creating like a vaulted ceiling within the lobby space. So I'm gonna turn some features off um, within the program, um, just so we can see this a little easier. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn the grid off. Um, so this is a little helpful tip for when you're drawing. And I'm also gonna turn off these blanks um, within the spaces, just seeing the room views. So you can see what I'm doing a little easier. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure I have a second level created, just like you would anytime you're creating a roof. In this case, I have a roof applied on this building already. I'm going to apply a roof to this um, example building over here with just the two spaces. So just creating a roof that encompasses the entire upper level. Um, note the room height, the floor to floor height is eight feet um, for the roof in that upper level. The other spaces below are 12 feet. So I'm going to apply a gable roof. And I see um, within my gable roof that I have um, no exposure to the lower levels. If I would want the space on the right to have a vaulted ceiling or exposure to the space above. What I would want to do is I go into, make sure first of all that you do have that gable roof. Um, this will not work with a flat roof. Um, it would have to be like a gable or a hip roof. Um, this should also work with a shed roof as well. Um, I am going to make sure I am on the level of the space um, that will be open to above. Um, so the lower level or the base level. I am going to select the roof that I drew, which is this room 0101. Um, have my multi-select on. So I've got multi-select, selecting in the tree the roof level. And then in the drawing canvas, note that it's important that we do this in the drawing canvas and not the tree. I'm going to select the room I want open to above. Keep roof, roof configuration upon merge. Click the room that will become the basis of the newly merged room. And then I will see that I have um, this space as say like a vaulted room um, open to the roof above and then the space on the left is um, you know has that ceiling space so I could view this in 3d view if I would turn my walls off um, and I see that I've got a ceiling or a loft space here and then this is open to the space below on the right side So if you would want to do a practical application of this, um, what I would want to do is have the, let me turn my walls back on, um, the lobby have a vaulted ceiling upon the entry. Then I'm going to go into my drawing tools. So I have my multi-select available. Um, I select the roof. Actually, first I want to be in my base level, select the roof within the tree, and then select the space I want to merge with that roof in the drawing canvas. Select my keep roof configuration upon merge. I'm going to select my lobby as my base room. You can see that items get rendered. And then I will see that this space is now open to the roof. Um, the attic space and this room actually all are becoming one space. 
So do keep that in mind when you are looking at bows.